Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'll be walking you through how to connect your Pixel 7 and 7 Pro to your TV. Now, I'm gonna show you two different methods to do this. The first method is going to be how to mirror everything that's happening on your phone onto the TV. So for example, if you're playing a game and you're trying to show your gameplay on the TV, or you're doing a demonstration, you're trying to teach someone how to use an app you can mirror your entire screen to the TV and everything you'll be doing on the screen will show up on the TV. Now that's method one. Method two is going to be how to send a video from your phone to the TV. Now this could be a video that you shot on your phone that you wanna see on the big screen or it could be you playing a video from Netflix or Hulu or YouTube. Uh, you'll be able to use that second option to play it on the TV. Now, uh, I wanna give just some context for the video before we start, just so you understand exactly the process. I will be using a Google Chromecast to make this work. Um, so you will need a Chromecast device in order to be able to do method one or method two. Second thing is this, the uh, Google Pixel 7 does not support an MHL uh, adapter which means that you cannot directly plug a cable into the phone and run it to a TV. Uh, you do need to rely on uh, a Chromecast or, or any device that supports screen casting. So that's the process I'll be using today to make this work. I'll also have links below in the description of where you can purchase a Chromecast in case you don't have one. So let's jump into the process. You can see exactly how to do it. And here we go. Okay, so the first thing you'll need to do is turn on your TV, make sure you plug in your Google Chromecast and make sure you set up the Chromecast. So it's gonna walk you through the setup process. If you already have one set up, perfect, you're good. If not, take a minute, make sure your Chromecast is set up. Next, on your phone, you're going to swipe up and you wanna go to the Google Home app. Now this should already be installed on your Pixel phone. Go ahead and tap on that icon. Now mine is already set up because I've used it before. If you're using it for the first time, it will walk you through a quick setup process. It should take no more than about two minutes. They're gonna ask you to just select your uh, Gmail account. They'll ask you to turn on your location and they'll ask you to make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on as well. Once you do those few steps, it'll take you to this screen, which is the main screen of the Google Home app. Okay, so just as a reminder, I'm gonna first show you how to mirror your entire screen to the TV, everything you're doing, and in the second method, I'll show you just how to send a video from the phone to the TV, okay? Now, to talk about really quickly the TV you'll need to do this, it just needs to be an HD TV with an HDMI connection. That's it, okay. So, you wanna come down to local devices, and my Chromecast is named just Den TV. I'm gonna tap on the icon here. And then at the bottom, I'll see a pop-up that says cast my screen. I'm gonna tap on that option. And I also wanna slide the phone over to the left here just cause I'm gonna have the TV uh, here so you can see exactly what's happening as I select the options. I'm now gonna select cast my screen, start now. And if you give it a few seconds, you'll see your TV is gonna switch and you should see now your phone mirrored to the TV. Now I can go home and I can begin navigating the phone and doing different things and it's all gonna show up on the TV. Now I can go, for example, to Google Chrome and I can also rotate the phone in the landscape position and guess what, it will support landscape and portrait as well. And again, this is the ideal option if you're just trying to demonstrate how to do something on your phone or maybe you have a fun game on your phone and you want everyone in the room to be able to watch you play it. Uh, the, the funnest game I have on this phone is Candy Crush. Uh, so, you know, for example, I could have Candy Crush mirror to the TV and then you could watch me play, you know, Dinky Little Candy Crush. Uh, most people would want to do this with like a serious game. Um, but, you know, anyway, that's what it looks like right now. Just it mirror to the TV. Um, when you're all done with mirroring and you wanna turn it off, the best way to do it is to swipe up and go back to the Google Home app and tap on Stop Mirroring. 
and that will stop the phone from mirroring the screen to the TV. One important note is that when your phone is mirrored to the TV, you can use the volume up and down buttons to control the volume on the TV. So that's one cool plus of uh, when you're mirroring the screen is that your volume will work from your phone. Now, second method, you say, hey, I don't wanna mirror the entire screen, I just wanna send a video that I'm watching on the TV. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. I'm gonna start with a video that I took on my phone. I'm gonna to go to my Google Photos app. This is a video that I shot when I was at Disneyland. I'm gonna just go to the top of the screen and there's a little icon, this is your cast icon. I'm gonna tap on that icon and it'll say cast two. And here is the Den TV, which is what my Chromecast is named. Tap on that selection, give it a few seconds, and now you should see my video is playing on the TV. The way this section is set up, I can go through and I can find another video, and if I select the other video, then that video should start playing automatically. So there we go, here's another video I shot. So, It'll just keep looping the video until you select a new one. Come up to the top of the screen. I'm gonna tap on that cast icon again, and I can select stop casting, and that will stop it from playing uh, on the TV. So that's how you mirror a video that you already have on your phone. Now lastly, let's mirror a video from YouTube. So I have a video right here that I just shot, Pixel 7 for beginners. I can tap on the video here, now, this process is gonna be the same for YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, just about all the streaming apps. When you select a video to play, you'll see that cast icon at the top of the video. And all you have to do is select that option and then go to Den TV. And here we go, give it a few seconds. You'll see that video begin to play on the TV. Now, I love using this option of mirroring the screen because um, while the video plays, I will be able to use my phone to do other things. And after a few seconds, you'll see that video start playing on the TV. I'm gonna lower that volume just a bit. One important thing to note is that it does take a few seconds for the the uh, picture to uh, upscale to its highest quality. So if you notice, when you first saw the video pop up, it was a little bit blurry, but then it clears up and it should show up in its full HD quality. So the cool thing about this uh, last option is that while the video plays, I can go home and I can use my phone and do other things while it's mirroring to the TV, which I really appreciate. So again, you wanna play a movie on Netflix, on Hulu, whatever, you can send it to the TV or cast it to the TV and then your phone will be still uh, accessible for you to do other things while the video plays. Now, to control the video in this method, you'll need to swipe down from the top of the screen and you'll see it playing in the pop-up at the very top of your notification panel. So I can pause the video from here, I can drag the bar here to fast forward the video now, if I wanna stop the video from playing altogether and stop the screen from mirroring, I'm gonna select the option. It'll take me back to YouTube, and then I'll just need to tap on the cast icon and select disconnect. And that will stop it from mirroring the screen to the TV. Now, there's one last thing I want to show you. I think it's an important option that I didn't cover at the beginning of the video. So if I tap on that cast icon, I can actually mirror my phone to a non-Chromecast device. So for example, this is my Samsung TV, it's a smart TV, so I can cast that video to my smart TV. This is a smart monitor I have as well. So if you have a smart TV at home, you can cast a video on the phone to the TV um, using one of the streaming apps. So again, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, Prime, apps like that. So just wanted to include that as well. And this takes us to the end of our video. I hope you found it helpful. If it was, leave me a comment down below and let me know if it was helpful. Also, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. 
Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, we're all over that. So make sure you follow us on there. We post different types of content on those platforms. So you might find some helpful resources in those videos as well. So anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. And as always, have a good one.